This is Ingram on first and ten. And he is first down. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and eleven. From the gun, it's Jackson. Flush to his right. This will be caught by Brown. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. That was the ninth play. It's been protected pretty good here so far on the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. Third and two, here's Jackson. He's going to find his tight end, Boyle. And he is in. Justin Tucker for the extra point. And the Ravens lead at Kick it away following the touchdown. This is taken about seven yards deep. And he's all the way up across the 40 and down at the 42-yard line. Great return. Well, you gave up the first touchdown of the game, but how about the response? Big-time return. Now it's their chance to try and put points on the board. Good starting position for the Cowboys here as they come up first and 10 at their own 42. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. 13 yards and a first down, Cowboys. A big hole there. How about him handling the point of attack? Just positioning himself so that run could go right off of his backside and deep into the secondary. Elliott going to bite off about seven on that one. A good run on first down. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. On second down, Elliott. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. After one, 7-0 on EA Sports. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Hey, 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 I got motion, I got motion. Mike, 48, Mike, 48. Out of the gun, it's Elliott. And an alley to run. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott, 31 yards. As they are now on the board here in the first half. Format, the extra point, and we are tied at seven. Each team's had it, each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. This will be taken very short. Breaks a tackle. Then he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Ready. 
The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Going quickly here to Thomas. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. That's good for 28 yards. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. This pass into the arms of Sneed. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. Not only have they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? Stepping up, he'll try and run. He's got the first down inside the 10. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. The keeper there turning into a big play of 23 yards, and it moves the sticks. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. They run. It's Mark Ingram. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Baltimore. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Ravens have taken the lead. And they're able to run it in. It started with the battle in the trenches. They won there. And they got in for six points. And that's going to be a tough one for the defense to deal with. They've got to go to the bench now and figure out how are we going to slow down this running game. Because on that particular play, they had no answer. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They trail a one-score deficit, 14-7, as they come up first and 10. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Amari Cooper, his intended receiver, and it's second down. Go, 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 get out there, get out there. Move, here we go, 46. You got four, you got four down, four down. Jim Diamond. Here we go, 26. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott flushed out, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Marching in for the sack, Matthew Judon. Well, it was second long. Now it's third and even longer. They're going in the wrong direction here. Because they're moving them exactly the way they want to, but you're exactly right. Definitely going in the wrong direction for the offensive guys. After the sack, they'll come up now third and long. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try and get some space. Instead, they go empty backfield as they'll look to throw. He's going to air one up into a double team, and it's intercepted. It's the former Seahawk, Earl Thomas. And they'll take over inside the 45 at the 44-yard line. After the interception, here's Jackson. It's complete to Snead. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. So the defense blitzed. A nice job picking that up, completing the pass. And how in sync was the quarterback in his center on that play? They saw the blitz, made the appropriate calls, got the line engaged because now they know there are going to be extra guys coming at the quarterback, so they got their assignments down pat and kept them away from him, and he's able to step up in the pocket and fire one now for a really good strike. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14-7. to seven. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. They'll run the jet sweep with Brown, and that would cover beautifully. 
Their defenders stayed home, and they'll stop him behind the line. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And that'll bring up a third down. Jackson now. This one complete to Ingram. And he gets the first down yardage he needs before he's brought down at the six. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. They'll fake the give to Ingram. Now Jackson. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Well, there's still time to rectify this situation because the silver lining, it took a sack on first and goal. But that close to the goal line, it still definitely hurts. He'll try and run it. He's to the 10. A big chunk of real estate covered on the scramble, but it will be third and goal. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. This is third and goal now. 80,000 on their feet here in Arlington. And Jackson cannot get away, and he'll go down. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. And Tucker, the former Longhorn, puts this one through, and they will move up by 10 now, 17-7. to Still a little bit of time left here in the second quarter, but they do get three before the half and expand that lead. And they have to be happy about that, and we haven't met a team yet that doesn't put an emphasis on trying to get points on the board in the last two minutes of a half. They'll be real excited to have those up on the board. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And we're under 20 seconds to go in the half. I'm guessing the wise play here is be safe. And that is the wise play because if you think about trying to fool them here, here's what you're facing. You're facing a loosened up second. And he goes down. The Ravens able to get to him. Now a timeout signaled for and They'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So after the sack, a scenario you certainly don't work on too often. Second and 24. Now Prescott. Let's it fly deep for Cobb. Oh, a ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. Picked off by the Pro Bowler, Marcus Peters. And he will be brought down as time is now run out on this first half of action. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. That's fielded in the end zone. And terrific field position here as they finally get him just shy of the midfield stripe. It's the third quarter, and they're down on the scoreboard. And while no one wants to hit the panic button just yet, points are a necessity on this drive. What a great way to get set up. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 49. Second half starts with a carry by Elliott. Takes to midfield, but no further. Just a yard there. I don't think any of us were surprised that they decided to start this drive on the ground after the last two drives ended in interceptions. Unfortunately, though, not a lot going on on that first play. Yeah, I think the anticipation was felt also by the defense. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. But again, it's Elliott. And he's going to be brought down inside the 45 at the 43. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. Two yards and able to get the first down in the process. I like this focus there because he wasn't thinking about breaking that one big. All he thought about was, I need one. Let's go get that. Ended up picking up two. Go, 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 get out there, get out there. 
Off play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. His throw incomplete. Jason Witten, the intended target. And that'll bring up second down. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Under 10, under 10, 10. Hey, switch gears, switch gears. From the pistol, here's Elliott. And he only manages a couple here down to about the 38-yard line. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. They'll need to get it to the 30 for a first. This is third down. Prescott from the gun. And that's Elliott complete. And he's going to get this inside the 30. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 29-yard line. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moot. Yeah, they were right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. First and 10, Prescott. He's going to let it go deep for the end zone. And it's intercepted at the goal line. It's the former Seahawk, Earl Thomas. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at the 20. The drive starts here with a carry by Ingram. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. Third quarter, and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Throwing is Jackson. Sneed's got it. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. Buying time to his left. He's going to take off with it. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. They go play action now. Jackson. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. And an alley to run. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. That one good for 13 and a Raven first down. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Here's Jackson. Got a man. It's Brown. The 20. Getting it to him in space pays off big time. That winds up going for 31. It's not a surprise when you read scouting reports and watch tape because you know he's a heck of a player. But he is so difficult to get down in the open field. They just want to get him the ball and let him do his thing. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. He'll run it, and he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Give him a couple on the scramble, it's second down. 
looked at me like the adopter of my kindergarten teacher always said, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. And finally, able to hold him in check. He'd been carving him up running the ball. That's the first time I think I've seen where the coverage was good downfield and they accounted for him and stopped him for a short pickup. Yeah, I don't think it was a big adjustment, but much more emphasis on making sure they knew where he was when he decided to take off and go. That catch good for five. It's third down. The Ravens on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. This time it's third and three. He may try and run. And he will force his way into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Lamar Jackson. His second touchdown of the night as the Ravens push further out in front. Not the first time on this drive we saw him take matters into his own hands, and this time he finishes things off with a touchdown run. You're not going to be happy with me, but I think he took matters into his own feet, didn't he? No. Oh. <laughs> Davis from the top rope. <laughs> I like it. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he'd taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And with three interceptions thrown already, we'll see. Do they, do they rely more on the ground game here? They may have to change things offensively to try and settle things down, not just for the guy throwing the ball, but for the rest of the offensive unit because his confidence has to be shaken a little bit. And you just wonder, is the backup going to start to warm up a little bit over on the sideline? First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Tim carry now for Elliott. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. Continues to be a struggle for this offense and this home crowd. They're growing a little restless here in the second half. And I think they've just got to look at how they're trying to move the football. Yeah, you want to run it, but maybe you spread it out. Maybe some swing passes that can take the place of runs and give you a little more space. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked off by the Pro Bowler, Marcus Peters. Partner, we always talk about possessions being at a premium in these games. And now in this situation, throwing an interception here when you have to claw your way back in, that one's going to hurt and in a big way. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. No gain there as he kept it himself at second down. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Jackson going to get this out to Brown. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. The Ravens on third down. They've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. This is going to be third and 13. Now Jackson. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. And they're able to convert on third with a solid gain of 23. Jackson now, six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. Jackson sliding out of the pocket. And now he's going to use his legs. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. They come out here in the eye. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. They'll run here with Abram. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. A line of scrimmage once again, the five, as they get ready for second and goal. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. They've got a second and goal now as they look to add a few more points here onto their total. And again, it's Ingram, and he will take it in for a Ravens touchdown. Mark Ingram with his second touchdown of the night as the Ravens push further out in front. 
No success on first down. He couldn't get any yardage. They give it to him again, and he finds the end zone. Sometimes it just has to be persistence, doesn't it? And you know who else helps with that? Offensive line. After a team's been stuffed, the last thing they want to do is go to a different play call. They want to come back and do it again and show that they can dominate the line of scrimmage. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team and we were losing late in a game like this and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And a coach called a running play and pretty much said to everyone, I want to see something executed well before we get out of here. And that was the message to the team. Just something to build Just on. Just something to build on, get it done, and maybe we can look at that and say, we'll get better as we go forward. 14 yards, good for a Cowboy first down. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. And now here is another interception. It's the former Seahawk, Earl Thomas. And that gives him now three interceptions in the game. Well, someone's locked into what they're trying to get done in the passing game. When was the last time we had someone get three in a, in a contest? 2011, wasn't it, Kurt Coleman? Oh, yeah, that's then right. with the Eagles. That's right. Then against the, with the Eagles, and I believe it's against Washington and Rex Grossman. That's correct. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line, tackled there. The Ravens get a new set of downs, give them 17 on that pickup. This time, Jackson will throw it, being chased out left. There goes a deep ball, in zone, and that'll wind up incomplete. Try to give his man room to run under it, but it's second down. Fourth quarter, you've got the big lead. If you're coaching, Charles, you, you still taking shots like that downfield? I'd be a little more concerned with running some clock and making sure you're taking care of the lead because you keep playing... And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Now after that sack, it's third and long for Jackson and the Ravens. Now this time he'll look to throw, eluding the pressure right. He'll let this go for the end zone. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Cheetah Bay Awuzie with a pick. So the final seconds tick away in this Baltimore victory. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second-half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no point were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. With that, we say good night from AT&T Stadium.